Poppy. Poppy. How much did you cost? We asked you that yesterday, didn't we? We didn't have the answer. No, you didn't know, did you? So how much is it then? It's... Poppy, are you listening? You're listening, Poppy. Poppy. You've cost, since October 2013, you got this, £7,743.33. Oh dear. <laughs> dear. <laughs> but you're worth it, Poppy, you're worth every penny. Right. Right. So it, it's our fi um, 15th year in the caravan, uh, what well, was a caravan club, is now the caravan and motoring club. Yeah. Um, and the other um, thing that's coming up, the other anniversary that's coming up, is it's been four years since we've had this motorhome, this Swift Bolero 714 SB. And I, I, I finally got the, the number right. It's only taken me four <laughs> years, is not it? Yeah. And uh, it sort of prompted us. We, we're going to do a year-end review, but we also thought we would do a four-year review. People are always asking us, uh, are we going to change the motorhome? Mm. I suppose the, the answer to that at the moment is... No, not at the moment. No, not at the moment, no. No, but uh, we thought we'd have a look at how much it all costs. So Jenny's done a, uh, well, we've, all, we've both done a, a, a summary of yeah. how much everything costs. So um. I'm, I'm probably going to hand over to my financial controller over here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's going to give us a breakdown of the various sort of costs since we've owned the uh, the Bolero and it, we got it on the 15th of December 2014 yeah and we yeah. part exchanged the Bailey compact for it right yeah yeah so should we start the little yeah start, start first? at the bottom because it yeah I think you know what the biggest expense yeah would be. so it will build up to that yeah build up the excitement yeah yeah so the the smallest amount we spent is 25 pounds on tolls and parking you know some of these costs are we these are the costs that we've got that we've paid on a card yeah and there's going to be odd things that we've paid in cash that we don't record because we're not kept, kept a petty cash book, have we? No, and I mean, it drives us nuts if we <laughs> <had> to do <laughs> that. <laughs> Probably would. So, yeah. I mean, tolls and parking, we're not, you know, we're not including things like we've parked in Sainsbury's car park and had to put £5 in the metre or whatever like that, so... No, no. no. Okay. No, so no, some tolls in France, which yeah. we paid for in euros, yeah. things like that. You're sitting in Poppy's chair. I'm sitting chair. in Poppy's chair, so if there's a scratching, if she wants me out the come way. Come over here, Pops. Come on, you come through here. Come on. <laughs> come on, you can sit. No, that's not going to do it. She wants to sit on the chair. No, we're, we're filming. You go and lie down now. Go on. Go on, be good. Right, so the second uh, lowest amount we spent is £68.72, which yeah. was on some euro requirements. Like right, so things like breathalyzer jacket. and high-vis jacket. Yeah, the uh, kit we bought the first time and, and little additions we've had to yeah. do. Also things like the French Critère, yeah. if that's how you pronounce it, sticker. Now the next one I've got, and I was surprised how low this was, was gas. Yeah. Now it's, well, I've got £162.92, only 0.26 of uh, complete total. Right. But then, of course, I realised that say 80 percent of the time you've gone to the the site and paid by cash because yeah. you can't pay by card you can't, in, in, on cl uh, club sites you can't pay by card for the gas and i think it's about 300 pounds we've spent on gas in four years yeah on top of th this is gas you've gone to a dealer like the one in or Preston, go outdoors or, or go outdoors or yeah. some or Todd's or somewhere like that. So gas and you've would actually gas. be slightly higher I up think the it's, list. Yeah, it, in, in this case, it would probably be about halfway up the list. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, if you if you're staying on a non-electric site, you're going to use a lot more gas anyway. We tend to have the gas on when we're going along as well. Yeah. So that that uses a fair bit of um, of gas. And also for cooking. Yeah. That's a, I think the big yeah. the big thing we use it for. Yeah. Yeah, so um, then above that, um, habitation equipment, that means like we renewed the kettle, the toaster, things yeah. like that. I mean, bear in mind a lot of the things that we transferred to here, we'd bought we'd in previous bags. We'd already got, bags, we? so we'd so already get kni knives and forks. and Yeah, we've potatoes. only just replaced the knives and forks. <laughs> 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 yeah. We'd had those from year dot, as long yeah. as we've been in the They're caravan actually quite and good, those club. last ones, weren't they? These, yeah. one, these ones we got from Amazon are not that brilliant, are no. they? <laughs> no, so um, the total for that is two six five fifty five. Yeah, that okay. um, I can account for. Then above that is the trucker renewal. Yeah, because obviously we had that for free. I think we had a free year, didn't we? To begin yeah. With. The, the, if you're not sure what we mean, it's, this is the tracker that's built into the van. So if it's ever stolen, they can track where the van's gone. 
uh, so it is a security arrangement. Yeah, so we've spent on that, we've we've spent £279 right. uh, over the four years. Bobby, come up here. Um, then the next big, ex big expense, yeah. the next expense, <laughs> sorry about Poppy, because I'm sitting in her seat. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The bedding, the duvets, yeah. and the sheets, and then we got some new um, duvets, didn't duvet we? Uh, yeah, duvet yeah, covers. Yeah, well, no, duvets as well we got, because you, you did a video on it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> so remember. So our new all that lot cost us £295.42. Right. The next thing is other services. Now, okay. that I put under that, <laughs> that Robbie... That could be anything, couldn't it? Well, <laughs> Oh, well, the main one was yeah. Robbie doing the Aldi. Yeah, when we had that, yeah. the Aldi central heating yeah. uh, uh, replaced, the fluid yeah. replaced. But there are other things on there. And you there. can't remember what it was, can you? Well, I, can, I could look in my database, yeah. but you didn't want all details, no, no, no. records. So no, I think we'd be here for weeks. We'll be here for all, all night. Yeah. So that's £366 yeah. and all of those. Yeah. Now, cleaning... Um, consumables. Consumables. This is what I was doing yesterday. Yeah, all the stuff you use yeah. um, for doing outside. Does that include the pledge as well and the dusters? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might not include that because no. we use that in the house as well, okay. don't we? This this is things that you bought for the van. Yeah, so the, the, it would be like bathroom cleaner. Um, what would else would it be? I mean, I tend to use household cleaner. Uh, apart from the bathroom cleaner in here. No, but it's mainly things like your auto glim, okay. your fast glass, also the stuff polish, that, and polish, polish and stuff. And the stuff you buy, buy for outside, I yeah, can't the, remember, Diamond Bright, It's is called it? Diamond Bright, yeah. yeah. Uh, the van came with a Diamond Bright uh, uh, coating and we, we got this pack that came with it with all the polishes and the shampoos and tyre black and uh, all sorts of stuff. So I carried on using that, so it, probably for that. Yeah, I mean, it's not cheap some of that is it no but you normally buy it in great big um, buy it in five litre ca uh, canisters and you know that yeah. sort of thing and you also buy waterless stuff don't you yeah well that that's yeah. the stuff we use to clean the van when we're away and that diamond bright do do one of those as well and i've used that occasionally when i'm away when i'm feeling fit because it's quite a job doing it with <laughs> <laughs> with the dry cleaner so all your cleaning has cost you 372 pounds 51 so that's not bad over four no years, so you've it? been quite you know efficient. quite good with it efficient with it yeah yeah now the next cost uh, further up which amazingly is only really one percent of the overall total is the vehicle excise duty the, the, yeah because it's classified R road tax so it's yeah well now it has yeah because it's classified as a private heavy heavy goods vehicle yeah and it's so it's 165 pounds a year now there's a consideration if you're thinking that there's always an advantage in getting a smaller motor and there is an advantage tax wise of getting a bigger motor and because you get pay a lower tax yeah so um we got half a year tax thrown in didn't we yeah that's why it's got a, an old 50p yeah but it's 66250 66250 and it's yeah. only 1.07 of the total yeah so it's only one percent of the cost isn't it yeah, yeah and surprisingly we spent more on consumables yeah which are toilet rolls bin bags things so, like so we spent more on toilet rolls <laughs> than we have on road tax yeah yes <laughs> okay. yeah yeah things right. like that you know kitchen towel yeah. all, all the things that we go to todd's and we, yeah. we buy yeah yeah so they're they surprisingly gets into a first thousand right they're 1029 pounds 44 right 1.66 yeah now the next um one up is insurance yeah now insurance over the, the years has cost us one two nine five thirty yeah I think the first two years didn't we have free breakdown cover? Yeah, I think it came with it. Yeah, that came. The, yeah, and the years. Oh, well, I mean, last uh, last year it was the first year we had to buy breakdown cover separately. Yeah. It, it came with the van, as, and it's part of the Fiat cover that you get breakdown cover. Fortunately, we've never needed to use it. So no, uh, no. But that that altogether. So that's. That's the insurance. That, yeah. I've said what that was, wasn't yeah. it? One two nine yeah. five thirty. The next um, one is the annual service. So this is the vehicle and the habitation services. Yeah, yeah. and including the MOT last year. Yeah. That is one thousand four hundred and forty-seven pounds fifty. Yeah. Two point three four percent of the total. Okay. So okay. that's not bad, is it? For no, no, for keeping it on the road and keeping it safe and and yeah. and, and, and legal. Yeah. Okay. We've actually spent more on van equipment 
Right, so that's, so that's um, things like the TV. TV in the bedroom, sat the nav. sat nav, sat nav. The dash cam, yeah. and tyres have tires. been the main Yeah, because we've done nearly 40,000 miles. We've changed the tyres once so far, and they're getting close to being changed again. So yeah. if you're doing a lot of miles, then obviously factor in tyres, 20,000 yeah. miles or so. And we've had, had well, not necessarily worn tyres, we had that sign that there we've was had a, a couple nail of punches, stuck we? in two, it. I think we've had two, two punches. Two punches, yeah. you know. Which, oh, yeah, they always say, oh, we can't replace, they can't fix that. No. And you think, mm, yeah. Yeah, but then <laughs> gone along with it, haven't we? Got yeah, a new I've, tire. I've gone along with the safety first principle, I suppose. I don't yeah. really want it exploding on me. No, so um, we've spent on van equipment like that £2,931.55, which right. is 4.73% of the total. Okay. So that's. So we're getting, we're getting up the list now, aren't we? So getting up the list, yeah. We're up to the top, top four, five now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got towing the up. Towing the up. So this is the cost of fitting the tow bar to the motor, which I think was five hundred. Yeah, pounds. it's five hundred. Uh, converting the car f uh, with the equipment, so the duo brake system, um, the. Um, the pedal, um, the thing that pulls on the pedal, I can't think of what it's called, the actuator, that's it. Yeah. The tow frame itself and the towing and the modification of the crash bar and the towing frame itself. And all that came to all that came to three three six five point eight seven. Oh, and there's one other factor in there that you've included and that's the cost of the trailer, isn't trailer, it? Trailer, yeah. When we when we bought the um, the the A frame for the car, we had to take the car to the fitter who happened to be in Leeds and we thought well we'll stay over so the only way we could get the car to Leeds without an A-frame was to use a trailer so yeah. we actually did try using a trailer we went to hire a trailer from Barlow Trailers in Leyland and the one we we wanted a smaller trailer they didn't have when we got there so it was no. still out wasn't it and no. we had a bit of a time delay getting there so we ended up with this massive trailer which I yeah. think was actually over our own um, uh, allowable limit I think it was like a 2,000 kilogram trailer yeah yeah put the trailer put the car on that and took it all the way to there and that was quite an expense wasn't it and it was wasn't much fun was it because we didn't know couldn't figure out how we could get the van and the trailer back to the house and managed to turn no, round no, in, in right. our clothes I think we have mentioned and this before yeah it was a yeah. It was a nightmare. It was not not a day I was yeah, looking it, forward it, to. It, it put us off trailers for life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Go on. Uh, so anyway, moving up, our yeah. third biggest expense is diesel. Diesel. So we're coming in now to the use of the van. Yeah. And obviously we need to put diesel in it for yeah. to take it anywhere. Yes, yeah, as a running cost. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can't do go anywhere, can you? We're we, bearing in mind again, we've done forty thousand miles. Yeah. Okay. It's seven five nine three nineteen. And that's twelve point one. Twelve point two five percent of the cost. Yeah, twelve and a quarter percent. Yeah, so yeah. that that's um you know, forty like say forty thousand miles, we've really used it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can't go anywhere if you don't use diesel. No. And the other thing, um, we don't have to spend this, but the other second biggest expense has been campsite fees. Right. So they're they, you know, people can choose whether they stay on a campsite, can they? What type of campsite they yeah. stay on? We well, we mainly tended. use club sites. We mainly yeah. main caravan and motorhome club sites, camping and caravan club sites, and uh, probably adult only private sites. Yeah, tranquil parks, aren't yeah. they? Like Summers Wood and yeah. that Chainbridge one. Chainbridge, yeah. Yeah, and also sites abroad. This includes yeah. all the sites we've been to. We've been to Normandy. We've yeah. been to Belgium, haven't we? Yeah. Twice, and this last big tour we did yeah so they come to over four years da, 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 wait da. for this <laughs> thirteen thousand seven hundred and twenty six pounds sixty four good grief yeah yeah we have really have used it haven't we we've had fantastic time i mean we think oh, that's yeah. 500 plus nights don't we it's fine yeah we reckon places. around about 500 nights since we since, and it's gone up since we've retired obviously yeah because we when i compared it back to previous years we spent something like a thousand pounds a year yeah, yeah. up to when we retired yeah. since we've retired we've spent about three thousand yeah. a year so i think top tip here is if you want to save some money is don't use can <laughs> well yeah and motor club sites. <laughs> well yeah it's not it's like any site isn't it yeah. but there again you know 
that's part of the holiday for well, us. For us, part it, of the it's having all the facilities. I think yeah. that's, that's the main thing, and, and knowing we're somewhere safe. Yeah. So you know, yeah. it's an individual choice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So the biggest purchase, <laughs> representing forty-five point three two percent of the total, yeah. was to buy the van. Yeah. And, and that was, we, that was twenty eight thousand and eighty eight pounds seventy nine. Seventy nine pence. That was the all important <laughs> seventy nine pence. Now, what, what, why that was low when the van's yeah. purchase price was fifty seven thousand odd? Yeah, was because we traded in the Bailey Compact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so that's, that's the cost. That's uh, the cost. So, so, do you know what grand total that is? It was about 60, I probably could see it if I looked over there. Yeah, well, see if you can remember. Uh, 61,000 something. Yeah, 61,795 pounds and 90 pence. So that's the cost over four years. Yeah. Okay, so if you're thinking of getting a motorhome, if you're watching this and you're debating whether to get a motorhome, I could probably put you off, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so. No, well, I mean, the, the cost, obviously the purchase price, you if you're buying a new van that's obviously a lot yeah. higher yeah if you're trading in you know you've got something to trade in well, we yeah. traded in a, a puma didn't we for the first yeah we, we started with a puma and we traded in for a motor didn't we it was and a then... difference in size <laughs> well it yeah. wasn't that much it was only a little motor wasn't it but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the point is then you've got some equity yeah. if you like in, yeah. in the next motor so i think i was thinking when i saw this twenty-eight thousand pounds it's a bit like buying a second-hand motor in some ways if you yeah. went and looked at some second-hand motorhomes, perhaps five to seven, ten years old, you might be looking at twenty-eight thousand pounds. So, it's, yeah. yeah, once you've got on the initial step of of owning a motorhome, then you know it's just the cost of upgrading. And uh, yeah. if I'm perfectly honest, I think that's what puts us off getting a new motor because we're mm. looking. Uh, this probably after four or five years worth about forty-five thousand. Yeah, at the top end. Or What's the it? equivalent one cost? That's 71 or something yeah. now. So Whereas, we've got a huge yeah. leap up then. Yeah, unless we look at some of the Baileys. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and what, then we like think, the Bailey well, Alliance or something the like that? The Bailey Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. you know, that, that's that's the dilemma. While yeah. we're happy with this. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said about Poppy, mm. um, she's worth every penny. Yeah. Has owning the motorhome, what difference has it made? So I, we we did a little bit of a, a brainstorm. Um, those of you who remember being in offices, you used to brainstorm on Friday you afternoon, didn't, didn't you? Yeah, with all someone, those. Someone write it up yeah, on the board, no, and you're never you're wall, never supposed and... to criticise anyone for no. putting something up, and everyone always did. Yeah. Well, this is a brainstorm. Yeah. <laughs> so, so why we like having a motorhome, home, I, I would call this, and it's really about the places that we've been in the motorhome. Yeah, so, so where we've been. places we've been. We've been to the Scotland, Scotland, the Highlands and Islands many times. Yeah, absolutely love it. Been to Wales, really like Wales. Yorkshire, um, yeah, God's country after Lancashire. Northumbria, Cumbria. We've been to several EU countries: France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Germany. Yeah, we've been to the New Forest now. Yeah, which we really like. We've been to the Cotswolds. Yeah, we've all, been all around the southeast. Because that's where we we came from, see friends and yeah. Peterborough for the show. And yeah, yeah. So uh, and Cornwall, I've left Cornwall. We left Cornwall, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, loads of places, things we've seen. You know, we've been to places that probably wouldn't have gone. Yeah, uh, we've been on railway journeys. Went on the Jacobite Express, didn't mm. we? And, yeah, uh, we've been uh, pulled behind um, um, brains gone behind um, flying Scots. Flying <laughs> Scots. <laughs> Only the most famous, <laughs> famous train, locomotive yeah. ever. Yeah, you can't uh, it's get gone. that. It's yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah, I always feel like I'm looking <laughs> up in my brain. Is it in there somewhere? <laughs> castles. We've been to loads of castles. We we love looking at castles. Yeah, yeah. I put that over there. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I can see it. It's you all see right. it. Yeah. Uh, historic ca houses. Um, loads of historic houses. Uh, not going, like going to national trust places. Yeah. We've seen some fantastic scenery. You know, places at Bunray. Stick in your, stick uh, in your in head, don't you? Glencoe. Don't Glencoe, um, Bunry, but down by the, the front yeah. there. Yeah. So many different places. I mean, Harris and Skye. And mm. These uh, are all in Scotland, you know. <laughs> well, not all in Scotland. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, there are well, some fantastic. I mean, Northumberland Coast, Bamburgh what Castle. What about the uh, Rhine Valley? The Rhine Valley. That was mm. amazing after we got a shock of that ferry. that was, yeah. It was a terrific um, yeah. place. Yeah. No, yeah. we have. We have yeah. 
we wouldn't have seen these places, I don't think, otherwise. One big factor for us, and people ask us why we have a motor, is you've got your own stuff with you. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the ma When you first used to talk to me about it, you mm. said, oh, well, we were sitting in a cottage, and you said to me, oh, we could have our own motor, and we would have everything with us. We wouldn't have... I think we'd yeah. forgotten something vital. Yeah. And you said, well, we, you know, we'd, we'd have it in the van. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we've, you know, we're, we've got our own stuff. We go visiting friends. We go to shows. Yeah, most time uh, shows. Time shows. We've yeah. got, we can take the dogs with us. Yeah, and that's a bit a big, big factor, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so going happy, to shows. Yeah, they enjoy yeah. it. And yeah. Put different walks for them, all sorts yeah. of things. Yeah. We can stop in a lay-by and have a break. We don't have to go into expensive service stations and have horrible coffee. And yeah, we just have your horrible coffee instead, yeah. don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> right. You can have the coffee next. Um, if we're filming the journey, it makes it easier. Again, we've got our equipment with us. We've got all yes, the, the stuff yeah. with us. Yeah. Um, it, we don't have to pay for hotels and bed and breakfasts and cottages. No. That costs yeah. us. A, that costs us a fortune. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Especially if you did a review of how much it used to cost us when we went to cottages. Yeah, but I mean, the trouble with that is we we could only afford to go like two weeks a year. Yeah. yeah. But they were getting up to two thousand pounds just for two weeks, weren't yeah, they? Yeah. 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 Um, I think if we, I think we said if we'd stayed the same number of nights in cottages, yeah, uh, um, which is 153 nights, it would have cost us 15,000 pounds. That's in this last year, isn't it? We've got been away for 153 just nights. Just in the last, just in the yeah. last year, yeah, 153 nights, 15,000 pounds if we stayed in that cottage like Plockton. Yeah, which was nearly 900 for, yeah. for a uh, week. And that it, in site fees, it's cost us uh, 3,000. Yeah. So yeah. there's a big difference in cost there, about five times mm. the cost, if my yeah. maths is right. Something like that, yeah. 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 And we wouldn't have gone away for as many nights, I guess, no, because of no. that. No, well, we didn't, did we? No. We couldn't afford to. No. No. So things we like about it, we, we can get away more, um, especially now we're retired. Um, that we don't have to worry too much about you know, bringing in some money. No. No. Yeah, so, so that's important. We can drive further because we can stop on the way. I think we sort of said that it's about having a break. Yeah. Um, you know, if yeah. you're feeling tired, you can stop, pull over, have a cup of tea, even a lie down sometimes. Mm. It's allowed us to go and meet people at sites, events, um, go to shows as well, things like that. Um, you know, meeting people from YouTube and uh, who are on, you know, got their own channels. And yeah. it, it's, it's given us a common interest between the two yeah, of us. Yeah. I think when, when we retired, uh, I think the worry is that you you can easily get bored. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. know, and we mm. you know, we'd see people who who gone their, their separate ways when they've retired. You know, because yeah. they've, they've got different interests. interests. Yeah. So having the same interest, I think, yeah. is quite important. I mean, you love doing these videos, don't yeah, you? And yeah. they're part of the journey and part of the, the trips we go on, so I yeah. enjoy them because they're a great way to remember everything. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, we, we like going to historical sites, so, you know, yeah, castles yeah. and... English Heritage, English National Heritage. Trust. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we like planning trips out. And, yeah. Uh, well, like I like doing that. So I like planning the trips where we're yeah. going to stay. And yeah. Yeah. Um, and we can go for days out if we're not, you know, if we're not um, at sites as well. So we can take the van out and go to... Yeah, uh, like we did the other week, up the coast, coast yeah. and everywhere. Yeah. S some of the things that have happened since we've had a motorhome, we've got a YouTube channel. Yeah, which... Um, what would we be filming? <laughs> well, I don't know. We, I suppose oh, we'd be so filming if cooking. We did, we did co if we did cooking... If we, we, if we did baking or something. Yeah, but you don't. No. <laughs> We've met new people through it as well, yeah, haven't we? Be yeah. And that's also having a dog as well, isn't it? You know, because we've we met Bob and interest. Aileen because yeah. of the dogs. But yeah. I su suppose we wouldn't have carried on the friendship with Bob and Aileen if it hadn't had a motor, and because it would, if they're so far yeah. away. Yes, yeah. I mean, they'd have to come and see us, or we'd have to go and see yeah. them. And you, you, yeah. if you don't, if if you have shared holidays together, it's different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. Right. So it's helped our health and well-being. I know we've put on a few pounds, but mentally. Mentally, yeah. Yeah. Sleep okay and yeah. everything. Yeah, we haven't got any yeah. neither of us have got any real major no. worries, have we? Touch for Micah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um we're more relaxed. Yeah. Oh, and we've got a hobby that we can develop as well. So yeah. that's, that's yeah. good. Yeah. So Okay. So that that's really that's, that's about it, isn't really, it? Really? Yeah, we wanted to say that's how much it costs, but the great benefits to us, you yeah. can't measure that in no. 
61,000, whatever we it could. was. We could. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I try and do a health? <laughs> yeah, if you want to do all those oh, things and, and enjoy yourself, it's going to cost <laughs> yeah, you 61,000 pounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So next, the next part of the review will be about this actual moto, won't it? Yeah. What we had. Yeah. What we like, a bit of a review we, of the motor yeah, and what we yeah. like, what we dislike, what would have been better, yeah. what fell off. Yeah. So yeah. look out for that next time. Yeah. And we've sent Poppy to sleep now, so we've probably sent everyone else to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications icon. And we'll catch you Shall the we? next time. Yep. All right. See Bye you then. then.